You win some, you lose some. But you live, you live to fight another day. Man, stop bullshit. If you really got a problem with your life, you'll change it. You're not tired of being broke. You're not tired of being stuck. You're not tired because if you was tired, you would actually do some shit about it. I'm tired of everybody running around complaining as if you're on the receiving end of whatever this world wants to dump on you and you don't have a choice. It's time to grow up, man. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Anybody who is determined to do something, who wants something to be different, it will eventually be different. Everything around you is going to change as soon as you change the things around you. Change your mind and everything about your bank account, your surroundings, your environment will all change. And I know that can be hard. That's why people lose the war. That's why people never achieve their strategic goals. They lose the little battles, the death of a thousand cuts. One missed workout at a time, and then another, and then another, and it all adds up. Why? Because we don't think about the big picture. We don't see the decay. We are like the frog boiling in the pot. As the temperature slowly increases one degree at a time, one degree closer to death, one degree closer to failure. I want to tell you what people don't want to tell you. Why you stop? It's because you're lazy. The one commodity that is most valuable on this earth is time. Time to love, time to live. From the moment the human body is born, it begins dying. I don't think you, you quite caught that. Let me say it again. From the moment the human body is born, it begins dying. Some happen faster. Some happen slower. Some of us help them happen, go faster. And some of them prevent it from happening sooner than later. How many seconds, how many minutes do we waste every day doing things that are <laughs> nowhere near the goals and aspirations and passions that we have inside. How many times do you go through the course of a day and realize, did I do anything I set out to do today? Write down those goals each and every day. No matter if it's two goals a day, if you can accomplish those, then you're doing more than just making it through the day. You are living and achieving your dreams. Find time to better yourself, read, explore, research, live life, do things you've never thought of doing before. That's what it's all about. When you're born, that's that date that they put on the left side of the tombstone. <laughs> when you die, they put another date on the right side of the tombstone. But that dash in the middle is the most important thing on that tombstone. That is a line that throughout that entire time frame, you were able to impact and touch others' lives. You were able to leave your mark on this earth. You were able to build a legacy that nobody could change. You were able to have it to where people remembered who you are no matter what. When you're living for that dash in the middle, you're gonna remember your why. <laughs> your why, why you're here. Not, not the why, why did you do something, your why, your, your reason for getting up in the morning, your reason for pushing yourself past the brink of exertion and giving up, your reason for moving on and, and, and getting things done in life. That dash in the middle, that's the thing that pushes you. How do you rate yourself on a scale of one to 10 in terms of your physical appearance, in terms of your health? Do you take care of yourself? Are you allowing yourself to get overweight and out of shape? Are you conscious of your health? Are you watching the food that you take into your body? Do you make a deliberate effort to exercise? You know, it was George Burns, he said, we cannot help getting older, but we don't have to get old. And many of us get old before our time because we don't take time to take care of ourselves. Your environment is a very good indicator. On a scale of one to 10, is it what you want it to be? 
Do you find it desirable? Are you satisfied? The job or career that you're involved in. Someone said that 85% of the American public unhappy with their jobs. Are you spending eight hours a day just doing time? Doing something that you don't find challenging, that does not make you stretch mentally, that does not stimulate you, that does not inspire you. Something that you don't find a sense of fulfillment in it. If you're doing that day in and day out, it has to affect how you feel about yourself, your level of motivation, your relationships. What kind of impact is it having on your life? Is it nourishing or is it a toxic relationship? Does it drain you or does it build you up? Ask yourself that. How motivated are you to do something about it? Your contribution, your actions. What are you giving? Many people will leave the universe without a trace. No one will know they were here. And in fact, under their name, we could put under there, not used up. Will anybody know that you came this way? What contribution are you giving? What will you leave? What will be different? Because you came this way. Just, just stop for a second. Write down your why. What, what are you doing this for in life? If your why doesn't make you cry, then that's not your why. Again, if your why doesn't make you cry, then that's not your why. Your why should be something so big that it moves your family tree. Your why should be something so big that it changes the whole outlook on how things are with you and your home, your family, your religion, your purpose. Think about your passion. <laughs> Think about your opportunities. And that's how you find your purpose. OPP. When that why meets up with your passion, your opportunity, your purpose, then you'll find out. The most important day in your life is the day you remember why you were born. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness if you wanna play